Hi everybody, right, okay, so I am a minute or so early, but I just thought I would get it set up and go in whilst I get my phone on so I can see any comments, which I should be able to do now, so that's wicked. Um, happy Tuesday and all that jazz um, I hope you're doing okay sorry my table which was very tidy is not so basically the only bit that's reasonably tidy is this bit you can see right now um, right okay so we'll wait for a few more to come in and then we will get started hello Shirley hello Gail um, if you are just tuning in as well feel free to share the love that is the facebook live that's absolutely fine um i hope you're all okay um quickly while i'm waiting um i've been doing some work today how you darling um I, have, I do work every day, sorry. Um, trying to do two things at once there. I was talking and walking at the same time. Never good. Um, yeah, I've been doing some work today on the Be Crafty YouTube channel. Um, so I'm trying to get all the videos, not just the ones of me and Sam waffling, like all the videos that have actually got some useful stuff in it, um, onto the Be Crafty YouTube channel. Um, and on there, I'm also making playlists. So basically all the videos of Jane that Jane's been doing um, I've put on a playlist I've put Kaz's videos on a playlist Karen we can't quite convince to do videos right now but we will get her to do do some and she will have her own playlist as well and I've also set Abby up a playlist okay so <clears throat> oh I can see comments so I'm, so I'm all right Mother, keep your eye out. All right. Um, but yeah, so if you'd like to share um, the the live, that's great. It gives us lots of people to talk to. Um, so tonight, um, this is one Sam asked me to do. Um, a bit on the shimmer sprays, a bit of colour theory, all this sort of thing. So I come from the same angle as Diane Reevely when it comes to colour theory. Okay. Um, there are three, three, and you'll have learned this at school. There are three basic primary colours, and that's your yellow, your red, and your blue. Okay? Um, and you can mix these colours up to obviously make your purples, your oranges, and so on and so forth. However, if you mix those three colours together, you get brown. Okay? So when you are choosing colours to put together in terms of ink spray, it's not so bad with the paint um, because you can keep it reasonably separate. However, you can get mud quite easily. Um, for example, I did this page um, using one of Lou's as a prompt last week. Um, and you'll see where, for example, the green and pink came together. You can get a bit of a muddy. And that's because you have all three in there because you have the blue and the yellow for the green and the red and the pink and that's how you can get mud so you need to be aware when you're using your inks and your paints that you can get mud if you mix the three primary colors together so what diane does is she splits both of her colors oh hang on a second i've just realized i've got to get something up she splits both of her color all of her colors into warm and cool okay so think fire and water um and what that means is that you can use all of your colors from your cool together and you can use all of your colors from your warm together with no worry about um you know making mud for want of a better of a description so i've only got I have seven shimmer sprays, but I have most of the dilution sprays. So if we need some more colors, we can always pick from here. So for example, your yellows do actually go 
in your cool. Now, obviously, you can cross these over and use them with your oranges and stuff as well. Um, but but generally, you, you keep them with your cool. Um, with your paints, you do have your new, well in your sprays as well. You do have your neutrals, which are your vanilla custard. You know that's a good neutral. Will work across anything. Your black and white. Well, they're not even. They're not technically colours because they they don't exist in reality. They are a man-made concept, black and white. Um. So and obviously they go with everything, but I don't know about you. I don't use black and white a lot for backgrounds. Black and white's for going on top. It's for stamping with, or highlighting with. Or that sort of thing. What I use my black and white dilutions paint for is to is general coverage to prime something. Okay, so the, 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 this is color theory as Diane sees it. Okay, now things like your purple, which would be your funky fuchsia and your crushed grape. Uh, no, more your crushed grape actually. Your funky fuchsia can sort of go in there, but your lilacs and your crushed grape you have to be really careful with purple because they can just they can turn lots of things to mud in a way um because you know if you start adding them in so you've got to be really careful with how you use them and pick really carefully with which blues and things that go together right anyway so we're going to play with the shimmer sprays now the exciting thing about your shimmer sprays is the mud thing although you can keep them separate in your cool yeah so think fire and water okay that's a really good way to, to keep your colors separate if you want to do this okay so in your warms you've got your bubblegum pink your funky fuchsia your tangerine dream your you know all those ones and then in your cools you've got fresh lime cut grass Calypso Teal, London Blue, okay? And all your other ones that go in there. So you've got your cools and your warms, which is awesome. Now, the, the bad thing is, colour theory, um, in terms of making the mud, isn't so bad when it comes to your shimmer sprays, okay? Because the pearl in your shimmer sprays, when you do get that mud, it's like this gorgeous, goldy, but more burnt copper type colour which is beautiful so the mud isn't so much of an issue when it comes to your shimmer sprays which is excellent now <clears throat> as you can see my shimmer sprays are laid down and when they're not out on my table this isn't actually just so you can see them when um, they're not laid down they live sideways in a tub okay I hope one day to require a larger tub because I have more of them okay now you'll see because I'm trying to find oh this one might be better so you can see you've got your bubblegum pink ink okay which the shimmer sprays are based on but then if I'd roll that over you'll see the pearl probably do it on this one as well so you can see the pearl it's sort of it's all sort of sunk to the bottom okay now the reason we do this we don't do that the reason we do this is so that if you just pick them up and spray when they've been stood up right, okay, you risk sucking that pearl sediment up the tube and for want of a better description, knackering your sprayer, okay? And because once you get that in there, you're gonna really struggle to get it out. So you don't want to do that. So when you are mixing them and you will need to mix them. You want to mix them before every use, okay? So even if I used this, I, I, I mixed it, sprayed it, put it down, and then picked it almost straight back up again, you still want to mix it again, all right? Um, just because the way Diane describes it is like a snow globe, okay? So if you have a snow globe and you shake it and you shake it to get all the snow to suspend okay you only have to put it down for a minute and it just all starts sinking to the bottom same thing okay so when you mix in you swirl one swirls this is also you can't hear the widget in that one where's my widget there you go you can hear the widget in that one 
that needs more of a vigorous shake i think maybe my widget's stuck um so yeah you just swirl them and what this also does is it stops you getting bubbles which again can go up the tube and block your tube and have a knack of nozzle sorry that's gonna go in the thing in it bev said knack of nozzle i did right so what i'm gonna do as you can see i've got two sorry i really want to use my london blue but my widget's not wiggling um and I'm trying not to be... Ah, there we go. Um, so, I've got a manila. These are the Dilutions tags. Okay. So, we've got a black one and a manila. Now, both of these are the same sort of cardstock that are in your Dilutions journal, which obviously Diane has designed to go with all of her things. And they're really hard wear. You know, you can actually throw quite a bit of abuse and water and spray ink and all sorts of things at Diane's tags and what have you and into a journal so that's why we like them so much all right so sorry these have been sat for a little while and it's one of those things obviously i could have come in and give them a really good shake before i talk to you but it's kind of defeats the object of the exercise doesn't it so i want to show you if they have been sitting for a while you need to give them a bit of a a good little swirl and a whistle so whistle there we go so um yeah so with your shimmer sprays a swirl and a whistle um which is exactly in a way i'm sure we discussed this the other day how you should treat your white dilution spray as well so you can see if i turn that you've got quite a bit of sediment there that's also got a widget in it so you should swirl that sideways as well and store it sideways on the rack i'll show you the rack i'll keep mine on in a little bit um yeah so we'll keep swirling you can't throw any shade. Well, okay. So, what I'm actually going to do now, all I will say is sprays cast, okay? Um, I was following one of Lou's sort of jump starts. She was doing some journaling the other day, and I didn't really know where to start, so I was like, I oh, know, I'll follow Lou. Um, for a little bit it turned out it was something completely different from what she was doing but that's okay it got me started um but sprays do cast and when i was following the other day i was using my white dilution spray and i actually got my phone all over my phone because all the cloud loose sat up here and then yeah i got i went over my phone it happens all right so what i'm gonna do now in fact i don't usually use these just themselves i'll usually be putting them on top of some paint or um some regular regular dilution spray ink okay so i don't normally use these on their own but i really want to show you their shimmeriness okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spritz yeah so sorry if they do cast and you're really not into as that um make get yourself an old box or something to work in because it's gonna go you just either have to embrace it or not written away okay so so we're gonna spray so this one is clips of teal and then i'm gonna put some there we go oh look at that beautiful beautiful and then um london blue oh look at that right okay now like i said like i said you they cast okay um so what you can do is you can either get another big tag to put on top you can because if this was my journal page i would like smash it shut to, to cover it or i would roll kitchen roll down it you know if this was regular dilutions ink sorry but this isn't regular dilutions ink it's dilutions shimmer spray and you know what we were just saying about the snow globe and the letting the allowing the pearl to settle in your bottle and you've got to swirl it up again so basically if you try and lift that off too quickly you're going to take the pearl with you okay so you can le you can heat it if you really really want to um but in reality you are better just to let it dry 
and see the pearl come out which we are going to do okay um but what i am going to do is i'm just going to get some tags and mop up some of this on here i'll spritz it with some water right so if you can see i don't know if you can see on my mat there can you see how shimmery that's going where it's already starting to dry it is so beautiful okay so you can see that has had a little bit of time for the pearl to settle down so if you wanted to get another tag put it on there and lift it off you know both of them are going to have a little bit of shimmer on which is absolutely fantastic obviously you can get one that's actually the same size if you want or if you do want to roll off a little now you can but i would advise you if you've got the time let it dry okay so if i lift that up i don't know if you can see there shall i do the telly twinkle telly twinkle you can see the shimmeriness so if you can see where i lifted off with that other tag to the shimmeriness there see what i mean and there was only a few seconds between me putting that tag on and me rolling with the kitchen roll okay so it's absolutely beautiful so i'm going to put that to the side now but what i have got here is also i've got a fantastic smaller tag and it's got these little waves of the pearl in there marvellous creaky chair reign supreme i know i don't know what's happened you definitely fixed it it's not as bad as it was though is it it's nowhere near as bad as it was okay oh there we go so you can re almost reactivate this with your mr bottle okay then get another tag i'm gonna smooch all that up Oh yeah, it's not just how the, the spray casts, you have to worry. If you are of a non-inky disposition, wear gloves as well, because that happens. But you see, so much ink, so much ink is left over. This is why I have so many tags on hand. And Bev, why are you making tags all the time? Because I have the backgrounds to use because we use up all our ink because otherwise it's wasted and that's just makes me sad but you see if you were using cools and warms together cools and warms together right now and they mixed you would be getting mud like i say with your so good with your um shimmers it's not such a problem because you would get you would get that lovely copper instead so you're you're you know you it would be okay if you're using your regular distress you would get mud which we don't want or paints if you're using the dilution paint or any paints you know the color color theory works on all brands it's you know it's it's a theory on color not on a particular product okay proper dilution desk look at that beautiful right okay there's a special lesson in telly twinkle oh yeah you get trained for it and everything it's amazing you really don't i'm joking all right so <laughs> hi sam journal play bev how dare you waste that not in fairness i have got my little journal here but there was just yeah i was worried i would never come to the end so if i grab these tags back in that we were that we've literally just done you will see i can't keep everything jan it's just do you know what i mean you can see the different degrees so we've got a lovely big tag which is still drying okay and then we've got this one which i lifted off that tag and then these others where we're sort of just down to the colored ink okay that one's got a little bit of pill and that one's not got any really okay so it's just lovely you'll have to practice your telly twinkle janie you'll have to practice okay so i'm going to put those to the side because now we're going to have a go on some black card okay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use exactly the same colors all right 
So I'm going to use my London Blue, my Cut Grass, and my Calypso Teal. Okay, and we're going to put it on the black. Okay, now the difference is when you go into black card stock, okay, is you know, one of the great things about showing you on the Manila is you can see the vibrancy of the ink. You can see, you know, it's so densely coloured um, and you get all of that colour come out onto your tag. Oh, look, I've got twinkly fingers. Um, with your black cardstock, for example, if you were just to spray, um, spray ink onto your black cardstock, you will see nothing. But with your shimmer sprays, it's slightly different, okay? So with your shimmer sprays you really get to see the shimmer but once again let me just move that out of the way but once again we must swirl and whiz and then spray swirl and whiz and then spray and swirl and whiz And then spray okay so as Jan told me off I'm gonna grab my little journal that's proper bent up that one okay I'm gonna grab my little journal you can see I do mop up in here quite a lot just oh yeah and this is why when people say oh what did you use for the for your backgrounds no idea did it ages ago when i was mopping something up not a clue could have been anything all right <clears throat> so we're going to keep going the blue is stunning and in and I think what you'll notice is when I show you the comparison between the two, you will have, oh, sorry. So this is the same three colors, but they come out completely differently. You know, the blue, in my opinion, is actually even more vivid the cut grass isn't that it's got almost a, a more goldy tinge to it it's not very you know and then we've got our calypso teal here i'm actually going to go back in with my calypso teal because i'm not entirely sure that i give it enough wally welly wally that is just absolutely stunning so you can go in and you can layer up like i say i very rarely use these on their own they're usually over the top of something i've done some dilution spray before or painted something or whatever and that's usually what they're for let me just have a quick spritz and mop dee 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 Guess what colour project you guys are going to be seeing all week? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> My entire desk is green, by the way. That's a problem for another day, I'll tell you. Right. So, these are you two. Okay. Now, like all your dilutioning because we add so much ink and we get it right to the core okay if you want to doodle on this you are not allowed to for 24 hours so many people come to me and say oh the ink central's white pen doesn't work or it's clogged up with the nip mainly because they're not waiting until stuff's, stuff's properly dry because even if you heat it with a heat tool um it's usually wet right to the core so you're best leaving your book open and dry um that before you do do the doodling that's just and you will find your ink essentials pen works absolutely fine okay so <clears throat> this 
is my little journal. Should we go for a clear page or should we just go on top of this one? And so let's go on top of this one. I've got my honeysuckle big one. And should we go for a warm colour? Should, should we do a warm colour? Let's do a warm colour. Let's do Funky Fuchsia. Now this is my most used one. It's the one that I actually... Well, the pilot tag. Yes, but I'm really good at the minute, Dan. I've, what I've been doing is I've been finding... We all have lots of tags and stuff like this. And I have been finding them out and putting them in a wallet. And it, I don't know if you saw the dragonfly tag that I put on Instagram. That was one of those tags. I decided to get out a tag I had started. Um, and, you know, finish it. Because that looks cool. Right. So with my funky fuchsia... Oh, see, this, I have clogged up the nozzle. Look at that. I actually nearly looked down it and pumped it then. I'm not going to do that. Because you'll all laugh at me when it goes all over my face. All right. So I'm deciding to go with a Tangerine Dream. Typical. All of the first ones pump absolutely fine. It's the ones I play with too much that are being naughty. Right. No, there's, there's nothing else for it. It's time to get out the big guns. And by the big guns, I of course mean bubblegum pink. Because, oh. Biffy. Right. Okay. So there is your bubblegum pink in honeysuckle. Right, so before, because obviously I'm not going to waste this, okay? But before I use it, I'm going to spritz it with water and then put it down on here. It just enables the ink to travel a bit better. And then we've got our honeysuckle on there as well. And then I'll just tuck that into there. And then some more ink will go into that one. So you can still use them through your templates. So for example, like I said, that, that was the Inkables big one. And it's just so pretty. It is just so pretty. Um, I really need to have <laughs> go through some of the ones I use most often. Because, for example, I was saying to you I use them over things. So this is a canvas that has actually been several months in the making. I keep adding stuff to it and then I get distracted and go away and do something else. Um, so you can see that's got a funky fuchsia telly twinkle on that one as well. Um, in here a little bit. So, you know, you can just add on, do a little swirl and whiz again, add a bit of that on in a couple of places, leave it, let it dry. Okay. So you can add them on to all of those. So basically, if you're going on to Manila, in your journal, the Manila coloured tags, just the, the creamy ones, they... will really give you the intensity of the colour. When you go onto a black cardstock, either on the Black Dilutions tags or into your black journals, you will also get, or is it more, is it more importantly? I don't know if it's more importantly, but as their shimmer sprays, I suppose you could say it's more importantly. It almost concentrates on the pearl element, which is exactly what we want, okay? We want that really, intense pearl because that's what we're going for um so you can find all of the colors on the beecrafty website which is great um and basically have a play with them they're not for the fate of heart i mean i'm not really sure how long i've been on i'm not sure it's long enough to be actually quite that dirty um so 
sorry about that um at the moment all the stamps and inkables are on offer so in the inkables range we've obviously got you know i'm just going to give that a quick we have got the inkables big ones such as the honeysuckle which you can see here um, so they're on offer, the 6x6 inkables are on offer, the dinkables are on offer, the texture discs are on offer, the horizons are on offer. Right, you're getting the picture, okay? Um, <laughs> so everything's on offer in terms of inkables and also the stamps right now. Um, Sam's having linkage issues. Oh, there we go. Um, so she's found some there. So that's fab. Um... So I hope that was helpful with your Dinkable Shimmer Sprays. Okay, let me just lift that up. Can you see how that shimmer is coming out on there? Honestly, the more it settles and almost like the more your ink dries in, for want of a better description, the more pearl will come out it will develop you know if we come back to them that tomorrow it'll be really 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 pearly um because it just gets pearlier and pearlier and pearlier i mean that one i think that just looks amazing i can't wait to use that so you know if we were using for example sam seahorse on that it'd look absolutely gorgeous you know through your mandalas inkables absolutely beautiful so you've got so much that you can do with them they are just as much fun if not more than your dilutions ink spray you can of course use them over the top of those you can use them over the top of your paints your dilutions paints obviously or you can just do like me and just have something that you just occasionally spritz because it's nice um i haven't tried them on things like paper clay but i can't imagine why they wouldn't work um, but I have used them in my journal, on canvases, on board, on, yeah, just spritzy, 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 spritzy. So, yeah, so the important things are, oh, look at me, I left that one standing up. Bad, see, that's really bad. You want to keep them lay down as much as possible. It will just keep them alive longer and it will stop your frustration. And all I can think is at some point I have left that one stood up, but I'm not really sure when. Um, so I'm gonna have to go and do a little bit of nozzle sorting, see if I can bring it back to life. Hopefully it's just a bubble where I've, I've shook it wrong. Um, <clears throat> so remember, swirl and whiz, swirl and whiz, and leave them living on their side because that's better. Um, right i think that's it if i actually managed to do um a try out tuesday in less than an hour wonders will never cease because like i say i don't really want to do anything else to these until tomorrow when they're all dry and then i can start doodling through because once this is dry wee. You know if you wanted to you wouldn't even have to add in that much more if you didn't want you could take your white pen and just doodle around all the honeysuckle blossoms and add in little bits you wouldn't have to do much else you know but i do think if you agree the the black tags are something else they really are or well, that one that we did think was just ink you have got a little bit of mica there i don't know if it is mica I, diane just calls it pearl so we'll just call it pearl but that one is actually possibly my favorite really really beautiful i'm so in love with them right so that is your dilutions shimmer sprays so like i say um they're all on the website and obviously all your inkables and stamps are on there on offer at the moment as well um please check out the youtube channel and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube just click subscribe it's down there um and cool <laughs> and i will see you all well i'll do another facebook live at some point during the week um we now have abby's 
Facebook lives to look forward to on a Wednesday, which is great. Um, so that's tomorrow. And so they're also being uploaded to the YouTube channel. So if you could have a look on there, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. Quick last telly twinkle. <gasps> Mystical. Thanks, guys.